Good morning, friends. Here we are again with Friday Forum. We want to have you a flawless home buying experience today about a very, very different new program, which very few real estate professionals know. Very few realtors or mortgage people promote this program, but this is very useful in certain conditions for buyers. This is called buy down program. When you have a, a home buying experience, when you're getting your loan, and your interest rate is very high. How to save money using the buy down program? We have Kelly Clayton. Kelly has more than 30 years of experience in different aspects of real estate. So she helps us with, she's the one of the most helping professionals I know in the industry. So even if you're doing, uh, not doing business with us, you're doing business with us, whatever, please reach out, talk to Kelly. She will be helpful. We will all be, you can talk to me and other people. So we will be very, uh, uh, you know, helpful in, in your home buying experience. So Kelly, I would like you to tell us, I mean, a buy down program sounds wonderful. It saves money, but what really it is and how do we use it? A buy down uh, option at a mortgage company is a tool to help home buyers get in their home with a lower payment during a time when the interest rates are a lot higher as they have gone up in our current uh, market. It, it helps them. It, it makes their payment lower for the first couple of years in the property so they can adjust to being a home buyer and enjoy being a home buyer and not be stressed over a mortgage. Okay, so uh, I've been in real estate for a very, very long time. But I didn't know uh, for a while about this program. And as I said, most real estate professionals, realtors especially, do not know it. And mortgage uh, originators do not promote this. What is the reason why we do not know about this? And why do they not promote it? Dr. Khan, there are a lot of mortgage products available out there for the consumer that mortgage companies don't promote. Most of it is because they really don't know about the programs. It takes a conscientious mortgage professional that cares about the consumer that's trying to give the consumer the best product and the best program to suit them, not the easiest program for the mortgage company. It is, it is very upsetting though, because it is fiduciary duty of a real estate professional to take the best, to work for the best interest of their clients. And if they do not know the, some of the best products out there which can save money to the, their clients, that's not good. So tell me, how does this start? If I want a buy down, I'm buying a house and I want to buy down, how do I do that? You know, it starts in the negotiation process. You know, the realtor, when, when someone wants to buy a home and they call a realtor and they're like, oh, I want to buy a home, a realtor usually will refer that person to a mortgage professional or the buyer will go out and look for a mortgage professional. And finding someone with integrity and knowledge is really important to make sure the consumer gets the best product for them. In the negotiation process, this should be brought up so that the real estate professional can write the contract where someone can assist the buyer with the cost of the buy down. Okay, so for a lay person, I mean, most people buy a house once or twice in their lifetime. And every time, you know, uh, they go through this, uh, everything has changed. For, for a lay person, buy down program essentially is they pay some money down to lower the interest rate so they can save money for a certain period of time. Is that correct or? Certainly. So I'm going to use an example that the interest rates today, I'm just using an example, you know, the rates change every day. But example is, let's say the rate current rate is seven and a quarter, a two one buy down will say, okay, the rates are seven and a quarter, your first year in the house is kind of the scariest because you've gone from renting where the landlord pays for all repairs to you're the homeowner, it's your house. And so they, so what happens with the buy down is the payment would be calculated on a 5.25% interest rate, over $600 savings for the client. 
And then the, the next year, after 12 months on the 13th payment, it would be calculated on a 6.25 interest rate. So it's probably, I'm just estimating it could be a $300 um, savings. And that way, by the third year, the consumer is adjusted to being the homeowner. They have been able to save that money, which is probably about $10,000 over the three years that they've been able to put in their bank account to save for repairs or to have a cushion. So it's a great product. Okay. Uh uh, home buying is a very, very exciting but very confusing process. You use the word scare. I think scare, like many other uh, commotions, is a product of ignorance, which means if you don't have enough information and enough knowledge, you get scared of the process. So it is the responsibility of real estate professional, whoever is facilitating the transaction, whether it's a realtor, mortgage uh, professional, or title and closing people or any other person who is involved in the process, they must go out of their way, even though if this is not going out of the way. But if, if they have to, they should to get the information, educate their uh, consumers, buyers, clients uh, to do that. So Kelly, uh, tell me who pays for the buy down? Well, usually the seller pays for the buy down or if the builder's involved, the builders will pay for the buy down. And, and this information is very important during the pre-qualification stage. When a client meets with their mortgage loan officer, the loan officer should be able to direct them and help them correspond with their realtor, the seller, the builder, or all of the parties to the transaction. So I want to say that because a lot of companies don't take the time to train their associates on these opportunities out there, it is so important that a consumer does look for a company that does offer all the products available in the market. Okay, so now I understand the concept a little bit better. We are paying some money to buy and bring the interest rate down for a certain number of years. So we commonly hear terms when we are familiar with this, three to one buy down or two one buy down or one. So three to one or two one refers to the number of years? Oh, absolutely. You can buy down the rate for three years. So the third, so on the first year, your rate would be four and a quarter. The second year, five and a quarter. The third year, six and a quarter and year four through 30 would be seven and a quarter. And that would be a great product uh, for someone that first time home buyer maybe doesn't have a lot of reserves um, or that it just would be a great benefit to that person. So typically when uh, interest rate is higher, the one of the people like buyer or seller or, or uh, the agents, both agents or one agent like realtors, either the listing agent or the selling agent, they may pay some money towards buy down, right? Absolutely. That brings the interest rate lower and that brings savings to the buyer. Essentially. Absolutely. Okay. You know, the consumer is so important and making sure that they have a comfortable loan product should be okay. number one. So as, as, I, as I've said uh, many times that there is plenty of information available uh, on on internet. Like it's, we are living in information age and there's so much information that that becomes overwhelming and confusing. And that's why I, I think most realtors or mortgage professionals do not delve into that. Where should they go to get consolidated, concise information guidance or quick on the spot help when they need it? Um, well, you know, I know that our company has a policy, Mortgage Z, one of our ventures of CPEC has a policy to train our mortgage professionals to uh, analyze all the mortgage products available for the consumer. They're just going to have to do research and get referrals. Uh, I mean, referrals, research, internet, and look for that mortgage person that is not just a salesperson, but a mortgage professional that understands loan products and can look and see what the customer needs not what is easiest for the mortgage company That's i think I, yes sorry 
please please finish no that's my okay. recommendation i think i think many lenders and many associations regional association professional association they have their knowledge base as well or they have some of them even have helplines where the professionals can pick up the phone and call them or go on on their website and get that information the thing is you get knowledge by seeking knowledge there is help available we are here other professionals platforms the lenders they will be happy to help we hear this from uh, lenders all the time that people do not even ask just market professionals especially go for easy products they just get their consumers to buyers to you know buy the loan which is easier to process which may or may not bring the most benefit to the buyer so when we say due diligence it means you leave no stone unturned when buying a home or when helping facilitating your clients in buying or selling a home in getting that information the best product the best deal for them deal structuring deal negotiating is is really what the uh, brokers do whether they are real estate brokers or mortgage brokers their job is to bring the best product the most benefit to their clients kelly what are your closing remarks my closing remarks are is um, that we're here to answer questions and to help people understand the various mortgage loan products in the industry that would benefit them the most we're here you can reach out and ask questions um, and we will do our best in sincere integrity to make it uh, easy to understand. If you have additional questions or clarifications needed, just call us, email, reach out. We're here. We're here to help you. So during this time, it, there is very little likelihood. This is a, a question from one of our participants that uh, there's a less likelihood, but it is a possibility that interest rate drops during the buy down. So can they refinance? Can they uh, uh, change their mortgage uh, lender? Or? That, that's a great question. Let me explain something. Once the loan goes to closing, the mortgage is recorded at the courthouse. There's no more opportunity for negotiations once you've gone to closing. So that, you know, and the mortgage process is like this. When you're in the process, you can negotiate and change. And, you know, interest rates don't like jump from three to five overnight. It's a process of going up a quarter or going up a quarter. So it's not going to be a big enough adjustment in the process for you to switch it and switch it. And every time you do switch it, then all the legal documents are going to have to be redone. So normally your mortgage professional is going to watch the market, determine the best loan product at that time. Once you go to closing, the the mortgage is recorded at the courthouse and there is a you know a, a addendum to that saying that it's a three two buy down or three two one buy down and that what the note rate is going to be because remember the note rate is what the mortgage is recorded at the courthouse it could be seven and a quarter could be six and a quarter or five and a quarter and then the buy down is going to be bought down three percent and come up but the note or the security instrument at the courthouse is always going to be whatever that final note rate is that money is like a subsidy put aside to help them with their payment for those years however we encourage all buyers and their uh, uh, facilitating professionals to read their mortgage contract carefully every contract has seasoning requirements when they can refinance if there is a penalty or if there is a fee for that whether they will be able to uh, you know uh, keep some of their uh, fee that they were going to pay if they refinance or they will lose it all contracts very uh, in very detail they um, specified there so please read your contracts and then decide do advise uh, do counsel with uh, relevant professionals who have knowledge please definitely ask your family cousins friends as well but rely on professionals advice so this is our uh, uh, information session for today you are very welcome to ask any questions reach us out anytime you want you don't have to buy uh, any products or do business with us to seek our help we are always here to help you out thank you very much for joining us today and have a great day